Okay, this is a little proof that we, okay, 1 equals 1, okay? We get that. Okay, I'm going to make the following assumption that if A equals B times C, then the root of A equals the square root of B, C, okay? That's a little, little math thingy. And now we are going to take 1 equals the square root of 1, square root of 1 being 1, and now that we we have 1 equals square root of negative 1 times negative 1, that equals 1, you're going to get that, e so it keeps it all, all nice and equal. After you get that, we're going to distribute this square root, so you're going to get 1 equals the square root of negative 1 times square root of negative 1. Now, that could be a problem because the square root of negative 1 is an imaginary number. If you haven't got to that point in math yet, it's because any square root of a negative um, is not going to be a real number. It's like um, root of 4 equals 2. The root of negative 4, uh, you cannot have that. It's, if you say negative 2, that would still equal 4, and if it's 2, it's still equal 4. So the solution to this would be, you're going to factor out this 4, you're going to have root of um, negative 1 times root of 4, and this is going to be the letter i, which symbolizes that, times 2. So that would be 2 times i would be square root of negative 4. But now back to this. We have i 1 equals i times i. Okay, that would be i squared equal 1, and i squared, some um, root of negative 1 times root of negative 1. These are going to drop out, and it's going to be negative 1. So you have 1 equals negative 1. And now the reasoning behind this, you might say, Dr. Killifus, there must clearly be a fallacy in this, this math somehow. 1 equals 1, square root 1, but in most uh, math proofs like this, like, um, I'd say, like the proofs that do 2 equals 1, those involve division by 0, which, as you know, makes a black hole, makes all math invalid. But the reason why that is wrong is because you cannot... I talked to my calculus teacher about this, and um, basically, if you mix imaginaries and reals, real numbers like this, you can get funky results like 1 equals 1. So, it's, it's, it's not really wrong, it's just, well, it is clearly wrong, because that is, that's no, no, no do that. And, um, uh... When you involve imaginaries and reals in a manner like this, you're gonna get messed up answers like that. So don't don't do this. If you get answers like that, you did something wrong. Okay, but it's still it's a really neat proof. You can you can show someone that, and they'll be they'll be all, oh my goodness, how'd you do that? But then you but don't tell them what you did what's wrong, because it's funny because they're gonna see well, one equals negative one. You must be crazy and broke math. I think you're some kind of Calculus professor knowing all math all good. But thank you for watching. This has been Dr. Killifus giving you math tutorials. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.